Listen, how do you enter the pool? When you sense the water is troubled, how do you enter? I have laid out the criteria and the procedure that was clearly spelled out in the old covenant because they want to show you the protocol of visitation that a man has his own role to play. Your role is to enter as soon as you disarm the movement. Ah, if it's as touching the deposit of the world, it is not about competition in this one. In the old covenant, because men will literally see the water troubled, it only means that there is a portion of time you encounter. See, it means encounters have lifespan. Huh? Encounters have time frame. That Jesus is calling you today, he will not be calling you forever. There is a season Satan will buffet you until you miss it. When you miss that window, even Satan is not interested in you again. Because Satan is only interested in what God is interested in. When God's focus shifts from you, Satan too is no longer interested. So our visitation is on seasonal basis, on time basis. That is what it meant by the person who can enter first. It means there is a sense of urgency as touching when God moves. If God moves and you don't move, you will lose. Ah, in the Exodus, the pillar of fire must move before Israel will take any step. If you take a step before the pillar, you are exposed. And if the pillar move and you don't move, you are exposed. So your safety is in replicating any step the pillar does or the cloud does. The visitation is tied first to the movement of the heavens, second to the response of the earth. If heaven move and earth does not respond, you will miss God's visitation. And God has been moving many times. There's no response from man. Many times God has moved. No response. Tonight I'm trying to draw your attention that you can find God anywhere. Sometimes it's just one song. The Holy Ghost quickening in your heart. A song begins to bless you unusually in a season. Song that you have in your phone all these years. And you have not been staying with it. One day as you played it was like, it was like a ladder between heaven and earth. That was a season of visitation what you are supposed to do was to go back retreat into the conclave of your spirit to go and find what scripture is the emphasis in my soul for now that scripture is what was being troubled that is what god want to use because god cannot move without his word john chapter 1 verse 1 says in the beginning was the word the word was with god the word was God. I will tell you why the word was God. The Bible says there are three that bear witness in the heaven. Huh? One, the Father. Two, the Spirit. And the word. The word. This is why in the beginning was that person. He, he no longer operates in that capacity now because the word has entered time and became flesh and that flesh he became he took that flesh back to heaven so he no longer operates as the word is it was worse that was why his former pre-incarnated identity was the word but now that word had become flesh so that he can teach other men how to turn word into flesh so that if, if anything is speaking in your inside you can press it until it becomes your own okay, so that when we gather in heaven later they will see many things that you you press including the infirmity that came with the DNA of your, your, your ancestors. Eh? You can use something to press it out. When you return, they'll say, Kai, this thing, you corrected it through the word. It's the word that did this for you. In verse 2, it says, in the, no, in the beginning was the word, verse 1, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Verse 2, it says, the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. Please say all things. The word, oh, the word, the word made all things. And so if the word, if there is need to make any other thing, you must go and make reference to what makes all things. Hey. Make any mistake to make anything outside the word, you will know why Satan have access to certain things. Because anything that the foundation is not built from the word, Satan can shake it. And without him was not anything made that was made. Can I share something with you? Even Satan was made from the word. This is why of all the things Satan will challenge in your life, he will not challenge that word. If you, if you hold on to it. 
we don't know how God visits us. He will trouble the world inside you. Some of you, is something you heard and there was no faith to believe it. Maybe four years ago, the day they were preaching it, you were convinced that they were talking to other people, not you. And the Holy Ghost archived it, kept it in one corner somewhere. And in the day that matters, he will replay that content. Suddenly, ah, something will start telling you that, but do you know that God actually can make you a blessing to other people? You will not be the one borrowing. You will be the one giving. Your mind will start contemplating on something like that. It is the word that wants to recreate a man. Although he is beggarly, although he is full of all kinds of, you know, a lack and scarcity. But if your situation wants to change, God begins to provoke a thought based on the word. The word in you begins to react.